Organizations all across the country are moving to a more equitable and inclusive workplace. And our next guest is a consultant, a coach, who specializes in building corporate diversity, equity, and inclusion leadership teams. Joe Santana is the CEO of Joseph Santana LLC. He joins me now from New York. How are you, Joe? I'm doing great, JJ. Pleasure being here with you today. It's been really nice to connect with you already this morning. Yeah, it's been fun. Yeah. It's been fun. We had a nice little conversation, and I had fun finding the entrance to this place as well. <laughs> well, you found it. <laughs> it was a solution uh, that you found, a way into the, into the door. That's what a lot of folks are looking for, is a way into the workplace. That's right. And with your coaching and your mentorship and your association, you're helping all kinds of people reach that place. That's our goal. Yeah, that is our goal. Yeah, what we want to do is we want to build leaders for the 21st century in the diversity, equity, and inclusion space, or DEI. So we want to make sure that they're addressing the opportunities and the challenges that we have today. And that's the entire focus of what we do. Uh, this space, uh, diversity, equity, and inclusion, it has been evolving. Uh, you know, the conversations of today are not the conversations of 30 years ago. Uh, how are you most helping people in leadership today? Yeah, well, the conversations of the past mm -hmm. were more along the line of, well, how do we get more women or how do we get more people that are underrepresented into the organization? Mm -hmm. Today, it's becoming more of how do we make sure that people that are being brought into the organization can be fully contributory to the organization? How can their careers grow as well as their value that they bring to the organization? And to some degree, that calls for more of looking at the organization itself and saying, where do we need to restructure to make the organization effective in being able to support these new people that we're bringing in, as well as addressing the new market, because the market is changing just as rapidly as the employee workforce is as well. Mm -hmm. So what we don't want to do is we don't want to shove elephants into houses built for giraffes. We don't want to bring people into the organization when the organization is not ready to be able to fully support them. So a lot of the focus is on how do we restructure the organization as well as you mentioned before, we've been evolving, things are moving very quickly, so now we need diversity, equity, and inclusion leaders who can look ahead, see what's coming, and proact versus just react to it. So we need mm -hmm. to be foresightful and not just looking at hindsight. You're a thought leader really in this space as well as being a coach. You have a podcast, uh, you've traveled all over the country. Uh, share some of the really large, impressive organizations that you've worked with because there are many, many companies nationally that have uh, turn to you for guidance. Yeah, I work with a whole number of different industries. Uh, I think I mentioned earlier to you uh, before, Sony Pictures Entertainment is one. Uh, Mass Mutual Insurance, the Federal Reserve is mm -hmm. another. Uh, I've also worked with Daimler Trucks North America. So there's, they're, they're all from different industries. But what they have in common is that the workforce that they are drawing talent from and the marketplace that they're serving is changing rapidly. Mm. And in order to be able to address the needs of that new workforce and make sure that you get the most from them and make sure that you deliver the most to these clients, you need to attune your organization. And again, that calls for a, a bit of restructuring. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. You offer coaching, uh, training. What does that look like with an individual? Yeah. So what we do is we have training for the entire, what I call the entire diversity, equity, and inclusion team. So at the mm -hmm. very top, you've got your uh, chief diversity officer, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. And that's the person that's responsible for all the strategy. And then you've got other people who are probably informally connected to that uh, to that leader. They might run a community group like the veterans group or the women's group, right? Mm -hmm. And basically, these are the people that are helping to drive these changes in the organization. What I want to, uh, what I, what I wanted to make sure that we did and that we now do is that we provide a training for everyone in that chain. So we have a program called Sharpening the Axe. That's for the Chief Diversity Officers. Mm -hmm. And we have other programs called the uh, ERG Power Talk Discussions. And those are for the community leaders. And I think that the vital thing there is, JJ, that mm -hmm. if you train just the Chief Diversity Officer, 
to me, the analogy I would use for that is, that's like if you take a maestro yeah. and you teach them to basically conduct the most wonderful orchestra in the world, mm -hmm. but then when they go back to their organization, they have to do it with a band that plays like the freshman high school band because they haven't been <laughs> right. trained, right? You need that second you tier of leadership. You need that second tier. You and need... representing each section of exactly. instrument. Right. Exactly. Joe, it's been so interesting to have you on. Uh, we've run out of time, but I want people to know they can connect with you on LinkedIn. Uh, what you're doing is so, really, it's so vital. Really, you're helping all people shine is what you're doing. Exactly. Within an organization. It's very interesting. The website, joesantana.com. If you'd like to learn more, you can also connect with him on LinkedIn and visit his Facebook page. He has an Instagram as well. Uh, there he is right there. And check out his podcast.